everybody, my name is Viola from Eco Botanic and sitting right here next to me is Professor Rebecca Taylor from the University of Southampton, Malaysia. Professor Rebecca Taylor is the Pro Vice Chancellor at the University of Southampton and the CEO of the University of Southampton, Malaysia. So Professor, would you like to say hi to the audience? Hi, it's a pleasure to be here. Would you like to give us a little bit of history regarding your university and what makes the decision to open a campus in Malaysia? The University of Southampton was invited into Malaysia by the Malaysian government and help Malaysia become a sort of international educational hub. So the invitation came in in about 2009 and we launched our first degree here in Johor uh, in 2012. And since then, we have developed and built up a portfolio of engineering programs uh, over the last uh, sort of eight years. So our engineering programs are world class, but we're now expanding into computer science and a lot of business programs that complement the portfolio that we already have. What other costs do you offer in Yes, so we, uh, so we have a, a foundation year in engineering and then that streams students onto uh, a triple E program in engineering, mechanical engineering or aeronautics and astronautics. So three really well established engineering programs. Now what we're doing is we're expanding into other areas that Southampton has a real strength in. We have a real strength in computer science. And then we also have a real strength in business. So we're about to put in a portfolio of another uh, six business programs and a business foundation year. But are the courses like locally and internationally accredited? Like that's what a lot of students, they are really focusing on them. Yeah, so we take the accreditations mm. really seriously because we know how valuable it is, not just for students to be learning a program, say in engineering or in business or in computer science, but actually to have the international recognition of mm -hmm. those. So we do, we take the accreditations very seriously and make sure that we have all of those up to date and linked to the right courses. What about the fee structure like mm -hmm. for the students and what are the payment options do you offer for your students? You can either pay for the program up front like in one installment or actually we have an installment program so people can pay sort of in installments as they oh, go. Okay. So we try to make it as flexible for students. Like are the teaching methods implemented here in Malaysia any different from how things are done in ah, UK? This is a really good question. <laughs> the students here in Malaysia have an opportunity to go and study in the UK as well. So our engineering students are all on a two plus two program. So they either do two or three years and then we transition them to the UK and they do the last two years there because the, our engineering programs are an integrated mm. master's so they have an extra year. So they have they get the benefit of having both experiences which is a fantastic way to set them up for their future careers in global companies. So we just wanted to create as many options as we possibly could. The, the programs are exactly the same. So COVID-19, we know that it has been the main disrupting yeah. factor to our everyday lives and also maybe in the world of academia. Like, how would you think this COVID-19 actually affected mm -hmm. your new intakes, enrollments and all? Our enrollment has been, our recruitment and enrollment has been um, not as uh, heavily affected. I think what happened at the beginning was it, our April intake was lower because people were really quite surprised by what was happening and they thought, yes. oh, you know, maybe what a lot of them did is they deferred because they thought, well, we'll wait because we want to, we we'll just wait till the vibe, you know, everything's under control and then we'll come in in July or in September. Then they realized this was a little longer and, you know, people rightly don't want to put their lives on hold for a year because because there's, you know, because there's still really good options for learning online and, and not getting behind. So uh, what we found was our July intake, we exceeded our target and we had, we met our targets, in some cases exceeded them for September and October as well. So where do most of your students hail from and what draws them to Malaysia? In about 85% of our students okay. are Malaysian. So they come from, many of them come from Johor itself. Johor? Yeah. And then we have KL, Penang, Sabah, Sarawak. We, you know, all over Malaysia. And then internationally, about sort of 10 to 15% of our students are, and they come from a number of countries. So some from the UK, Taiwan, oh. Indonesia, Philippines, uh, China. So, you know, Bangladesh, Mauritius. Uh, those are all countries that we uh, recruit from every year. A company we believe that it has been one of the most hottest places where most of the students and staff would definitely would want to visit there yes. because of the facilities and amenities yeah. that we have there. 
food and beverages yes. and also some services and entertainments out yeah. there. So how do you think Eco Botanic actually yeah. complements to your students' lifestyle? Uh, so I couldn't agree more <laughs> with what you're saying and actually that was a real driver for our choice. So when we decided that actually we really wanted to expand, we could really see the potential for contributing to Malaysia being a, an international student hub and, and we really felt that actually we wanted to you know, have the opportunity to, to, to grow and contribute to that. Well, one of the things we need is we need bigger space, we needed a accommodation, very, very high quality, something that we could really grow into. Um, and I looked around and had a lot of conversations with sort of different developers and actually kept coming back to Eco World. And part of it is about where that estate is located, like in terms of the kind of infrastructure. So hmm. the students can live in the Eco Nest. Many of our students already live in the Eco wow. Nest. That they can live in the Eco Nest, which is a very, very high quality um, accommodation for the students. They, the ones that are there love it. Uh, it's surrounded by the commercial center, which is increasingly uh, mm. successful, it's highly successful commercial center, and lots of food and beverage, medical clinics, you know, beauty, um, you know, all sorts of different things that the students can participate in and, and, and socialize. So all of that's there. The Edgy City Sports Center is right across the road. That's a fantastic sports center that offers all sorts of different opportunities for students. There's a shuttle service. They find that really convenient. They like it. They say it's a really great extra service that EcoWorld provides. Um, but also, you know, the Eco Nests themselves have their own security. And so again, the students, if they have any needs or the, any concerns, they always know that they that they are they are safe and secure and that they have somewhere that they can go to ask questions. So it's it's just it's a whole holistic experience for the student. It's like a campus um, that's that's already there, existing around the new Southampton Malaysia building. Because you have been in the UK and also you have experienced life here right here in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. So could you give us a little bit sneak peek of how the cost of living is like for a student in Malaysia and also the one in UK. Okay. So the cost of living in the UK for a student uh, per per year is about fifty thousand ringgit. That same student can live here and have the you know their whole study experience uh, and accommodation and subsistence. Uh, that would be about eighteen thousand ringgit. Okay. So that's the difference. And we know that it is not a surprise and no longer a secret that University of Southampton Malaysia is expanding. Yeah. Is Hall in University to our Eco Gallery. So, mm -hmm. Professor, could you just share with us like what makes you like Eco World so much, and what is the main reason that draws you to that? It is the quality of the accommodation. It was the opportunity to work with Eco World to create something for the University of Southampton Malaysia that would directly support a. a an outstanding student experience, both learning and living. Um, and we have worked with the team at EcoWorld very, very closely uh, in order to make that happen. So it's been a, a real pleasure to be able to work in that kind of collaboration and create something that in the future will be, be so good. From a company that I, I think we have really grown to know and trust and really respect. Okay, I think Professor has already answered my list of questions. Any last one would you like to give to your students and also eco work? We are really look forward to bringing students in uh, around, you know, building up our engineering programs, but also now being able to really cater to some of those high, other high demand areas within Malaysia, uh, such as computer science and a whole host of, of business programs. And I think that what that will do is it will bring students in and then really help them to be prepared to go into careers in Malaysia or, or globally that really meet uh, demands of the next 10 to 20 years. So uh, we are delighted to be going into such high quality facilities and we absolutely think that this will offer, offer the students the best possible university experience that can be offered. Thank you yeah. very much, Professor Rebecca Taylor, for taking your time off to be with us today. I think that's all for today, and thank you so much. Looking forward to our future collaboration together. Bye bye, guys. Thank Have you a very great much. day. Bye. <laughs>